What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you Campsite. Campsite is an application and Figma plugin that you can use to better stay in touch with your design team and get insight into what other people are working on. Once you've logged into Campsite, the first thing that you'll see is your feed. Here you can scroll through posts that you or other users have made. You can react to them or you can add comments. This feed has been blurred out because it contains work for my team at Cash App. You can also add additional campsites if you're working at or with multiple organizations simultaneously. If you're working on a lot of different things at the same time, you can break those out into projects. Here you can have active projects that you could follow on a case-by-case -case basis, or you could look at past projects that have been archived. You can easily create a new project at any time as well. The last tab is the people tab, where you can see everyone that you work with and how many times they've posted on the platform. There's also your own profile where you can get some basic information about your posts and the settings associated with your account. By default, Campsite will send you a weekly digest every Friday at 5 p.m., but you can easily change this to send on a different day or at a different time. You'll also get a daily digest of posts that people have, but you can toggle this on and off at any time if you want. Let's say you want to remind yourself to be posting regularly to campsite, you could add an event to your Google Calendar to remind you to do so. To post directly from Figma, you can use their plugin. To do so, you need a sign-in token, which you can generate once you have an account set up. The last thing you can see here is that I have my Cash App campsite, but if I want to create a new campsite, I can. To post something to campsite, what I'll do is select a frame, right-click, go to plugins, I recently used campsite, otherwise I would search for it. Here I can select the campsite that I want to post to. In this case, I want to post to my personal one. I can see a preview of the frame that I'm going to be posting into campsite. I'm going to add a description here. If I wanted to, I could add a link to the Figma file. One other thing that would show up here if I had multiple projects is the ability to select which project I want to post to. If I click post, after a few seconds, I'll get a success message, and then I can view this post on campsite. And here you can see when it was posted, the description, the image, react to it. And then if I had other people on my team, I can see who's seen it here. I can also add additional versions of it, which is helpful if I'm continuing to work on the same design. I've really enjoyed using Campsite so far, and if you can get an invite for your team, I definitely recommend doing so. Right now, Campsite is invite only, so you would need to go ahead and reserve your quote-unquote Campsite by adding your name, email address, and a little bit of information about your design team. Brian Lovin is the creator of Campsite. He used to work at GitHub, and before that, he worked on the Design Details podcast and a lot of other different startups. His personal website is one of my favorites out there. So take a look. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of the Campsite app and Figma plugin and know how to use it for your design team. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.